Welcome to flower pressing. I'll be showing you one and two steps of flower pressing. Flower pressing takes a little while. So step one will be to go outside and gather the flowers. Step two will be placing the flowers on the canvas. Step one is the most fun. Get outside and pick a few flowers that you absolutely love. They could be big, they could be small, and collect them in a container or a bowl. You could even collect the leaves too. Always make sure that it's okay to pick the flowers that you're choosing. And remember, don't pick too many. I know they're so beautiful, but we only need a few. And remember to say thanks. Sometimes when you're at a flower shop, you can find flowers on the ground that have fallen out of baskets. Or you could take some from your own garden, just a few. I'm using scissors just to snip them off. Look at that beautiful columbine. Looks like a little hat. When you've gathered your favorite flowers and leaves, it's time to bring them inside and get your big book. Do you know any of your flowers' names? This white one is a petunia. And over here, these little blue flowers, they're called forget-me-nots. I wonder what flowers you'll find. You don't always need a flower press like this to press your flowers. If you have a heavy book, that will work great. Put your flowers on a piece of paper. If you have wax paper, parchment paper, or even newspaper, they're all going to work just fine. Go to the middle of your book where the pages will be the heaviest when they lay on top. Place your paper inside and then place your flower right on the top. Cover it up with the other piece of paper and then press. You can fill up your whole book with flowers and when you're done, place something heavy on top. Now we're on to step two, the flowers in the canvas. I pressed these flowers a few weeks ago, so now we can have a look and I can use them for my art. Take a look at these. They're dried out and flat, almost as flat as the paper. Wow, that's when they're ready. Now it's time to bring your canvas your Mod Podge or glue, and a paintbrush. The first step is to use your Mod Podge just like paint. Put your Mod Podge where you want your flower to be. Cover the whole surface area, and then we're going to get our flower. If your flowers are small and delicate like mine, you have to handle them very carefully. Gently place it on top of the Mod Podge and it will stick. Press lightly and use your brush to add a little bit more Mod Podge just on top. Then it will stay forever. If you need some help to do this, that's okay too. You can always work together with a parent or a friend. I'm sure you could also do this all by yourself. You just have to hold your brush lightly and make sure you have lots of Mod Podge. Remember, every time you want to stick a flower, put down some Mod Podge, place your flower, and then Mod Podge the top. Here's a little trick. See what happened there? I tried to paint down, but my leaf grows up. If your leaves and stems are pointing up, paint upwards. And it's okay to make mistakes. Mistakes means we're learning. Look at that. Beautiful art and flowers that I could keep forever. Now to let it dry and then hang it on my wall in my room. I hope you enjoyed pressing flowers and making beautiful canvases. Till next time, Ona.